prior unity. Ali Dar talks about prior unity as used in the book Not Two is Peace. From that book there's a, an explanation of what it is. <clears throat> to rightly appreciate the book Not Two is Peace and Adidas vision of a global cooperative forum, it is important to understand what he means by the term prior unity. By prior, he does not mean previous. He is not pointing to some past golden age of unity on earth. Rather, Adida is speaking of the inherent or a priori unity of existence. The primal, irreducible state of being in which the world and all things continually arise and pass away. This original state of being, by its very nature, one and indivisible, regardless of the apparently separate happenings that arise within it. We can understand this by looking at the ocean, which is a single body of water supporting an ever-changing pattern of individual waves. Prior unity in this sense is reflected in every dimension of the world and of the human being. For over 100 years physicists have been demonstrating in ever more sophisticated ways that so-called matter is a unified continuum of energy not merely an assembly of separate particles. At the same time, biologists have shown that the genetic structure of the human being is almost exactly identical throughout the entire human species, species and that <clears throat> the apparent differences between the world's races are very superficial. Adida is saying that a clear awareness of the truth of prior unity enables intelligent collective action. Action that starts from the working principle that prior unity is already so, rather than action that simply works towards or struggles to establish unity. In other words, he is saying that the real or realistic politics of our time must come from understanding and acting in accordance with how things really are. But as Adidar points out, there is an immediate obstacle to such intelligent action and that obstacle is ego or egoity. And what does he mean by ego? Adidar means the false assumption that separateness is the case, and acting on that basis. Ego makes or is two-ness, the sense of self versus other. And Adida places self in quotation marks throughout the book, not to as peace, indicating that the separate self, in quotation marks, while constantly presumed, has no real existence. Human society is based on ego or two, the subject and the object, whereas prior unity is not two, and not two is peace. <clears throat> what I'd like to say is, therefore, Ego is an illusion, two-ness, other-ness, me-ness and you-ness is an illusion. For what is prior to this illusion is real with a capital R. 
which is that place represented by the open hand has always existed always existed the prior state was never born and will never die now example of how my ego works or how I do ego <laughs> only 15, 10 minutes ago the chair I'm sitting on was was rickety it was slightly you know it was something was not quite right I wasn't sitting comfortably but my ego obviously in the mind says oh don't bother about that don't worry continue sitting on it sitting on the chair no matter what but turning to Adida, as I do, in that moment of turning to him, I, I just got up and examined the chair and noticed that there was something not quite right. And I fixed it. So I was cooperating with the faulty chair, with in that correct place or space of prior unity. So I became one with the chair and not against it as it was in my mind previously. Now that's an, an everyday example of what we are all doing. The mind will come up with an excuse not to cooperate. The mind will come up with suggestions that we are separate from the conditions around us. The mind will come up with a me, a suggestion that I am against you, or I have a thought <clears throat> that is contrary to what you might think. <clears throat> and in this case, sitting on the chair, now is not only far more comfortable but there's possibly the chair will last longer and not break so that was cooperation though then you could bring in the word tolerance why didn't i tolerate the the uncomfortability of sitting on a chair that was about to break. Possibly I'm getting myself into deep water now because we were asked to tolerate and cooperate. Egoic peace is a tolerance, a kind of we put up with that, we put up with this, we put up with you and your ways and I'm, and I'm asking you to put up with me and my ways. But there's a tolerance and a cooperation that comes, that is inherent. It's natural when we're in that prior unity. And how is one, how does one become that state, that space, that prior unity. For me it's in communing in satsang with the divine being, Alidar Samraj. For in that contemplation of his bodily human form, the sense of me and other dissolves. The clenched fist dissolves. There is no longer a feeling of me against you or me against it. So constantly behold the bodily human form of Adidas Samraj. Feel that love bliss entering your body and mind, dissolving all of that illusion, dissolving ego, dissolving the clenched fist.
Ja.